Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Undermine, uh, a game that I actually, you might be scratching your head, didn't you look at this already, didn't you play this? I did, uh, I played it on a stream uh, a while ago, probably like, I think it was right around the time, maybe like last, early last summer in 2019, um, and I'm checking it out again because it hit version 1.0. It is an action-adventure roguelike. It is $20 US to the best of my knowledge. I have had this in my Steam library for so long, I don't remember if I bought it, if I received the code. Either way, consider this disclosure in case I received the code. Um, and I, I'll be honest with you, I, in the hour or so that I played of Undermine on stream a year ago when it was very early access, um, I was interested but perhaps uncompelled. I've heard it's gotten a lot better and I, you know, I'm not the same person I was a year ago. Maybe I'll be more resident to whatever it's got going on now. As you can see, we played about an hour there. We should start a new game so we can understand all the new stuff, right? We don't want to... It's a very big change from me uh, years ago. You out there. Old me would have been like, hey, let's just immediately, you know, go with our old self. One thing, everybody loves the art in Undermine, and I agree. It looks like, a, like an insanely good Super Nintendo or like 2D PS1 game. Peasant. I have an important task for you. Okay, Arkansas. As you've noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. And there is another thing. I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. I'll beat the final boss right now. It's fracking. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lies dormant. If we are to delve deep into the undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment, find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and unlock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wait, peasant, take that journal on the table. All right, don't mind if I do. Artifact discovered, press tab to open the journal. Keep that journal with you. Refer to it if you ever seek an answer to a question. The journal of backseating. All right. So if I remember correctly, peep, looks like a merchant stand. If I remember correctly, kind of the interesting thing about undermine is that it is like an Isaac-style roguelite, um, but also simultaneously one of the big thi- Okay, we shouldn't have done that. Um, one of the big things about it is that as you defeat enemies, or like, hit things, you will get gold. And uh, you, you have to get the gold before enemies get the gold. So there's kind of like a resource gathering aspect to it as well. Press left mouse to attack. No problem. So there's always the risk-reward of like, you know, oh, I could hit this enemy, or I could just try to get away and get some gold. Can't jump over that, huh? Press E to drop a bomb. How about that? We even got into the skeleton lair. Found nothing! Excuse me! I would like to unlock this, please. Thank you very much. What do you got? Press right mouse to throw a weapon. My god, the man is... Genius personified. All right, let me in. Beware of pilfers. Yeah, so these are the dudes that will frustrate the heck out of you. Because you're just trying to enjoy your life, and they steal your gold and run away. As soon as they, they see gold coming, they try to grab it and take it from you. But you need that gold in order to... You know, live your best possible life. They are thieves. I could have told you that. All right. Then you get Isaac-style items. Butcher's cleaver sometimes drops meat from your enemies. Yo, does that change your... Uh... It doesn't change the weapon you're wielding, but I'm going to consider that merely a light knock. Because <laughs> maybe you just keep the cleaver on the back of you, and it's a passive thing. All right, so right off the bat, oh, baby. There's some meat for me. You get creamed, please. Excuse me, that gold belongs to me. And some meat for me, which I think is just an instantaneous heal. Now, I'm not blocking anything here. You got nothing to worry about. Okay, you guys, how dare you? How dare you? I have stepped into the fire. And uh, do I just maybe jump to get rid of the fire? Maybe, little, maybe it just takes time? All right, I would say that we did terribly. But hey, cooked meat. Healed for a little. Watch out for the saw. Um, you, don't, you don't take my gold, okay? You don't- oh, because there's another gold back here, but our bird got it for us. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Now, if I'm making uh, erroneous plays here, I apologize. Uh, I am not an undermine expert. I'm just- you know, I mean, I- I- there, there have been times in the past- oh, hello, sir. Oh, hey. 
There, friend. My name is Wayland. I'm the blacksmith. I was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those caves quaked the entrance in. It's cool, I got a prescription from the apothecary for these, but dum bum -tsh. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. Drop by my forge if you find yourself up top. I'll kit you out in the best gear. I can also craft any blueprints you find laying around. You may even find one in that chest over there. All right, and then he saunters away. By the way, if you can afford it, I suggest buying that pickaxe over there. Did a fine job on that one. I mean, I did just save your life, but sure. Increases swing damage. Welcome. What do you got for me? Blueprint discovered. Wayland's boots. You got anything for me in here? Maybe yes. Me oh, the oil. I wonder if there, there must be like a like a chemical interaction between like oil and fire. Otherwise, you just wouldn't go through the trouble of making oil in your game, right? And then what the heck are you? You're you're the shop. Okay. We have one fifteen. What is this? Antimatter. The next time you would take damage, gain that much health instead. It's kind of interesting for sure. We'll stay away from it for now. Seems a little, um, a little advanced for my puny pea brain. But I would say, like, I, I I don't know if I'd say I've been guilty, but I'm always cognizant. Stepped on a pressure plate, I guess. I'm always cognizant of the fact that sometimes when I check stuff out in early access, there is a negative associated with that. And all I mean by that is that sometimes when you check out something right away, it's not necessarily a good representation of where it's going to end up. And that doesn't even mean that, like, Undermine was bad when it came out into Early Access. I really think that I was kind of... Not one of the only dissenting opinions, but I was... A, a lot of people were kind of like, this is a lot of fun, and I was like, I don't really get it. <laughs> so again, it's not meant as a, an insult at all. Uh, what have I done? Imbue your weapon with lightning. How about that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, but I think that it, it makes sense to uh, come back and check it out again once it's hit version 1.0, right? Hey, this, this guy! That way we can we can actually, uh, you know, get a better feel for what the game's original intentions were. And who knows? Like I said, I'm a different man than I was a year ago. Who knows? Uh, maybe my tastes have changed as well. Temporarily increases attack speed. And then you use it with Q. Duly noted. Duly noted. We got almost full HP. What do you got for me in here? An item. Lightning bomb. Unique bomb relic. Bomb explosions chain lightning. And then, was this our down? It must be our, because that's what the arrow means, I assume. I will say, I've never met a roguelite that I couldn't beat on the very first attempt, so you guys are in a world of hurt. What I will say, right out of the gate. Graphics, really, really nice. Music, really, really nice. I remember the graphics being beautiful. I didn't remember anything at all about the music that was going to explode. Okay. Um, but that's not to say it's bad. It's just, you know, I got a limited amount of hard drive space. Okay, we got spawners. Very familiar with the concept. Thank you, bird, by the way, for sucking up my gold. I really appreciate it. I don't think I killed the spawner, dude. <sighs> gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there. I will not use a bomb, if we even have one, which I don't think we do. I will not use a bomb to kill basic enemies yet. We're not at that level. In Isaac, we know what we're doing. Hello. You, you okay? Requires a special key. Don't bother. It's locked tight. I let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here, and look where it got me. If you help me out of here, I can help you out too. I have some useful skills being a bombsmith and all. Oh, well, how about that? You're in the Big Hat Logan uh, room. Okay, so this is new, I think. For 15 hearts, we can use it and spawn something. We spawn some meat. Let's use it again, because I think the meat heals for like 25. What the heck is that? Oh, no. <laughs> sure, I'll send it. The heck? That's just nothing. Sure, I'll send it. Yo! All right, so this is greed. I, that seems like a bad potion. Toxin. Coat your weapon with poison. Whoops, whoop, whoop, what are you doing, dude? I dropped a lightning bomb instead of picking it up. Back to hub? Back to formula. Are you nuts? I don't want to go back to the hub. I want to go back into the mine. I think I screwed up badly. I'm embarrassed with myself because I just pressed E instead of uh, space. 
All right, hello. Yes, peasant, you've returned. Oh, someone new? Peasant, I've gathered some special items that may help you win the undermine. Feel free to use the gold you might to pay for them. They will, of course, remain company property. Do not fret, though. Your canary will assume they are passed on in case you meet your end. Um, glasses. Peep the names and health of your enemies. You know what? So these are like permanent benefits. So this is it, it kind of uh, everything I know about Undermine at least. And and they have added like new modes, but genuinely we're not going to be able to, you know, cover that in the scope of this video. So we'll just stick with like the main game uh, setup that we got here. Um, however, it, it has like a, a little bit of a, a marriage of the, uh, the kind of classic... And by classic, I mean Isaac style. So, you know, if you got a problem with calling Isaac a classic roguelite at this point in your life, then, you know, I would just urge you to take it up with yourself because I think at this point it's a little needlessly pedantic. I understand that, you know, they're not in the same vein as rogue. But do you really want to be having that same argument every day of your life until you die? Because it's kind of where we're at right now. You know, the tide's been turning for a few years now. Um, birthing pod. Consumes all healing until birth. I was just worried that, like, after we took it, there was going to be, like, a little curse or something here because of the torches. Let's be honest. I deserve that. <laughs> all right. Consumes all healing until birth. So we should not take damage, but we'd still love to see some meat. In fact, I'm, I'm disappointed that we don't have the, the Butcher's Cleaver. What the heck was that? Um, because the Butcher's Cleaver drops so much meat for us, it would probably be a huge advantage. Oh, oh it, it imbued our weapon. It imbued our weapon. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, yo! Here you go. So we didn't get any healing, but the, the healing will go to the... Uh... I just want to look at our map. M? I don't know. Maybe we're good to go. <laughs> the, the, it's scaring me. It's scaring me every time. Where do you think you're going? That the that the caverns rumble. But yeah, it's a marriage of the classic like Isaac formula um, with like that kind of rogue legacy sensibility, right? Where, um, excuse me, excuse me. I'm I'm just terrible. I need like a range upgrade or something. Um, with that rogue legacy formula, where like every time you die, you get things, you get a a, a currency, and you can spend that currency to uh, you know give yourself some kind of permanent passive or maybe even active benefit. I don't think we played enough to really uh, divine one way or the other where we stand there. Lucky me. You know what? I remember being annoyed by the fact that these guys kept spawning in to take my gold. And I'm wondering now... I'm sorry, I keep being slightly out of frame, too. <laughs> I'm wondering now if I was just in a bad mood that day. Or, you know, so different stuff will strike you on different days. Because right... Oh, I see, like, a pair of glowing eyes there. Right now, I'm like, you know, I got no problem with it. I'm having a good time. Okay, keep it moving. You know, look... We haven't even begun to explore this yet. What is this? I mean, I know it's the canary, but I'm wondering, like, does it level up or something? Gold picked up by the canary is increased in value. The canary gains speed and can steal gold from pilfers. How do you like it? That's what I would ask to you, is how do you like it? You probably wouldn't. Pilfers. Body. So I would love to, like, in any roguelite Northern Lion tries... Found a key! A little bit more healing, which doesn't apply to me. We gotta be very careful. Because we we can't heal at all until our birthing pod is birthed. I don't know, do we know? It, it has 450 to go until it births. But in, in any Northern Land tries, I don't feel good until I have had a good run. You know, we need to have at least one good run to get a feel for, like, you know, bosses and stuff of that ilk. Ricochet the Throne Pickaxe. How about that? Probably, you know, when there's enemies. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't even seen, like, the archetypes that you can build around. Maybe there's, like, a throw build. We can get some chain lightning on our throws or something. Hello. Um, so you got keys. You got a purge potion. Removes a curse. You got some meat. I will buy the meat. Um, to, to move the needle a little bit. I don't really, you know, I don't want to break all your stuff if I don't have to. 
I don't think we need a key. And I don't think we really need to purge a curse. So I think we're good to go. But yeah, I'll level with you. This seems actually very fun. And, uh... I will say... I've had... I wouldn't say I've had this confused. But this uh, Undermine and an another game were very much intertwined in my memory for some time. The game where you go into the dungeon and you um, take the stuff you find in the dungeon and sell it in your shop. Tiny build dungeon crawling game. What was that called? No, not Dungeonlot Shattered Lands. Game where you go into dungeons uh, and get stuff and then sell it at your shop, please. That isn't Reseteer. <sighs> you know, I hate to leave this pause for a second, but it's this is important. It's going to bother me. Uh, tiny build rogue-like. No, not Hellpoint. Not Dungeon Shattered Land. Not Streets of Rogue. Not Undungeon. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> It's called, like, Sweeper? Something like that? I can't remember. Crypt Sweeper? I don't know. Look, I, it's, a, it's a game name that I should remember. Let's go. Um, because it's, it's a pretty, like, major indie release. However, um, I also do play, I don't know, like, 200 new games a year. So I ask, I ask for your mercy. I ask only for your mercy. So we could go way faster by jumping. But honestly, I'm, I'm not confident in myself. <laughs> and I, I'm embarrassed to say it because it's a very easy puzzle. Ooh, dude. Yo, the ricocheted pickaxe is doing some good work for us. I can't help but feel that the, um, the, the birthing pod, not a great item for us uh, as, a, as a true beginner. But you know what? We're, we're working our way through it. We're going to... Oh, excuse me. Thank you. We're working our way through it. We only got 380 left to go in our item. Increases defense at critical health. Sure, why not? Why not? But yeah, I'm, I'm actually having a very good time with Undermine so far. Which is saying something, because it is not a roguelite deck builder. Which is... Uh, so it's out of character for me. Galoshes. Walk and jump on oil. Sounds interesting, but I'm I'm really going hard at this idea that we got <laughs> we got to get this birthing pod to activate. Let me guess, is it a challenge room? Offer. Um, so you get rid of an item. I choose to get rid of Aegis. Okay, and in return, I will receive Aegis. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing in this room. Maybe when I walk out? Maybe it's got to give me a reward later, right? Like, I don't think I'm just missing something here. Alright. Very interesting. I, I don't know. I'm But I'm always intrigued with the game that's got some mystery stuff going on. Stuff that I can't immediately grok despite having played, you know, a, a ton of uh, roguelites in my day. Thank you for the gold. Thank you for the gold. You get out of you get out of here. Meat. You love to see it. You love to give it to your birthing pod. I know you're like, NL, that's not a good name for Kate just because she's seven months pregnant. Don't tell me how to live my life. What do you got for me here? Real enemies. Oh, it's a <laughs> You are not a friend. Okay, I, you know, I'm learning my lesson. Throwing seems to be pretty good here. That hurt. That hurt. So I think... No, no. You're, you're making grievous errors. I think I've, I've learned a valuable lesson. I do want to smack you. This, this is striking me as a boss fight I should be doing a little bit better on. Yeah. Uh, and also should not be taking so many hits on beyond everything else. It's like fighting... No, no, no! Get, 
get out of there. Don't run combos. You, you're not a combo runner. He's doing so much damage to himself that I'm in like embarrassed. There you go. Chip away. Chip away. Keep it moving. One day, the man is going to drop a big rock on his own head. Hopefully not your own head. I'll be the first to tell you. I don't think we should have lost zero HP on this fight. But we definitely should not have nearly died. I almost got tagged there, dude. That hurt. That hurt. Because with some momentum, he was ours. Am I upset? Why would I be upset? Why would I be upset? Why would I be upset just because I died due to my own impatience early on in the fight that has now led me to misery? No, no, no. We're going straight down. Dawn down. We got to have a better run. But I will say I'm leaving with a much more positive opinion on this. And, and again, some of this video for me is just a, a straight up like assessment of whether or not I'm still at the same place with Undermine that I was like last June um, or August. Um... And I think, like, definitely a lot more... Beautiful. Definitely a lot more on the positive side right now. Can you, like, just... You, you really took my bomb, huh? <laughs> and I don't even really feel like I, I can say it's come a long way. Because, honestly, I don't know that that's the case. Man, those enemies are really called glomps, huh? What I can say for certain, we got so lucky there. You're, stop taking my stuff. What I can say for certain is that it, it hits me a lot different now than it did, uh, you know, last summertime. What do you got? Hey, boy, do you have a license for that mustache? I am Black Rabbit, the adorable mother of critters, queen of the tavern, and destroyer of hot cross buns. Heads up, though, bristly one. Someone took out a rock pile mimic over here, and ever since, well, bad things have been making their way up from the depths, which is why you need this. What do you say? Blueprints don't normally come this cheap for you, my friend. The family discount. It's a good point. Um, we probably should have gone back with to the blacksmith with the blueprint. Um, uh oh. I'm sorry about that, but also, I mean, if you got if you got rewards, I want them. Get rich or die trying. The 50 cent uh, autobiography. Ghost ridden by the game. Crits temporarily increase crit chance. Now that is a cool... That's that's something you like to see. Hold on. I mean, universally in games, pots are a, are a chance, you know? A chance to give you some extra you-know-what. Well, you-know-what in this case is just gold. I'm not proud of myself, okay? <laughs> Whatever. It's it's floor one. You can heal down here. So yeah, I mean, I'm the the thing I'm trying to get used to is the fact that you don't attack kind of instantly, if that makes sense. You you have to bake in the fact that you got a little bit of a cast or channel time associated with your attack, which is totally fine. But it does take a, a little practice for me to get used to. Get out of here. Um, but I, I feel fairly confident saying right now that undermine. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that I've barely scratched the surface of the meta game here. Um, but it certainly seems... Well, I'm mad at myself. Uh, it certainly seems to be a... Uh, an ambitious and, and competent... And uh, you know what? Let's erase my earlier words. A compelling... I guess we're just out of here because we don't have any bombs. Uh, action RPG roguelite. Still not sure if it's hitting me, you know, at the 100s. But I... I'm way more open to it and receptive to it than I was a year ago. Now, you know, I feel like the classic YouTuber move would be like, they must have made it better. But I don't know, maybe I just got smarter. <laughs> I'm the big rat that makes all the rules. 
Oiled Glomp. No, thank you. Will Glomp for Pocky. Screw. Uh-oh. I'm dumb, but it worked. Let me out! Okay, now you've, you've done it to yourself here. All that for a little fish on a stick. Maybe I'm not as smart as I used to be, but hey, that's one way to get out of the room. Can you just not walk into the trap? Like, that one... That's the kind of damage that'll keep you up at night. Because it's not damage due to, like, your run being bad. It's damage due to you being an, an absolute fool. So remember. When you crit, your crit chance goes up. How do we work with this? Okay. Fair enough. You, you swung at me. You swung at me. Okay, you know what? You guys are quite ornery indeed. Excuse me, I don't want to deal with the pilfers right now. I, I've got my own things to worry about. I'm at 25 HP and embarrassed. It's a dangerous combination. Thank you for the meat. Very much needed. Bag of bombs. You know what? Thank you. Purge potion. I bought it. I didn't even think about buying it. Just because, like, my, my hypothesis right now is that money is uh, temporary. Um, hello. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, let me go, please. Money is temporary, but glory is eternal. Bunch of mines hidden. Whoa, but what's this? If I put a bomb down there, is that a secret room? It's a secret room. Video redeemed. What's that, that rock over there? The giant rock that makes all the rules? That's, I assume that's like a permanent bonus sort of thing. Blueprint discovered. Fan of knives. Look at that. I'm the captain now. We've freed this chest. What are you? Biscuits. Increases experience gain for a familiar. I drink your biscuits. I drink them up. That's right. No country for old men. Never seen it. Wait. No! <laughs> I'm mad that I died, but I'm more mad because that's from There Will Be Blood. Alright, honestly, I think this is a game that I should check out in greater detail. Mostly because after 27 minutes, I think I put down a truly terrible performance. But I am, uh, I'm happy with where we're at here. This seems to be... Like, I, I think I maybe have given this game the wrong uh, rap when I played it... Uh, last year but for now thanks for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed it undermine is available on steam in version 1.0 i encourage you maybe you can go to twitch.tv slash bear taffy if you want to see more and watch his most recent vod i'm sure he will give you a better impression of the game than i have based on the fact that i died so early you know it's one of those things where i play so many roguelites that you know a roguelite that's not the same as the other roguelites i play I'm worse at it. It's like how Michael Jordan was only a one-sport athlete because he was so good at basketball he could never even, like, think about it, hitting a baseball or something like that, just hypothetically. Anyway, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.